So what you want to do now is put hidden space test and hit enter. And now, okay, for some reason it hasn't worked. But when you do that, try hidden test enter. Hold on, let me try it one more time. Okay, for some reason it hasn't worked, but it usually works fine, and you can do that. It should work on yours. Uh, the next one is the solitaire trick, automatically win at solitaire. So you go to your start, all programs, game solitaire. Okay, so this is my new game in solitaire. Now all I'm going to do is hit Alt, Shift and 2. And there you go, you can see I've automatically won, you see all the cars, cars going down there. Okay, so there's... Right, it's going to ask to deal again, I'm going to press no. Okay, so that was my tutorial on, well, not really a tutorial, but um, my video on how to cheat at Pinball and Solitaire. The Pinball one, for some reason, it wasn't working, but it will usually, sorry about that, it will usually work. It hasn't on mine for some reason, but I'll try that again later. But yeah, it will work. Um, yeah. Oh, I've got, actually, I'll show you one more trick for a computer. If you want to hide files without using that invisible folder, invisible folder trick, uh, here's a cool way on how to do that. You can go to uh, save on it to hide. This you make sure the files you want is in some, in your hard drive. So you want to go to my computer, local C, and then I'm gonna put mine in this downloads. Hold on. Um, so I'll put it in this one I'm just going to make a copy of it because this is my Bill Gates biography, I think it's quite cool um, and then you want to find your picture ah. so I'll go to my pictures cars, I'll use that one copy X and then you paste your picture into there ok now what you want to do is, you see the, these two here you want to right click them go to your 7-zip or you can use WinRAR it doesn't matter and what you want to do is you want to go add to archive and here it's called downloads.7z I'm going to call it tutorial.7z if you're using 7z you have to make sure it's called 7z or you can just make it so it's called so it's, a, it's like a winrar if you're using winrar just make it called raw okay now you've got that, I've used the picture, you don't have to have a picture, you can just be, uh, for this but I've just got my picture on my Bill Gates biography, I need those two in here for later on, but you can, you don't have to use a two things, you can use as many things as you want, you don't actually need a picture unless you want it, um, so uh, now what you're going to do is you're going to go to your um, command prompt, you go to start, run, so I can CMD, you can see there, hit OK. And now here you want to type in CD backslash. I'll just read that in the zoom quickly. There it is. You hit enter. And now here it's gone into your local C disk. Um, so I'm going to, hold on. There you go, C disk. And now, hold on. There you go. And now you want to type in the folder that you put it in. So for me it's my downloads, hit enter. Oh no, sorry, you hit cd backslash and then okay, now, yeah, cd backslash downloads, which is what I've got. For you it'd be cd backslash and then whatever folder you put it in. So now I'm in my downloads folder, what I want to do is put that up there quickly. Now you want to type in 
copy space um sorry part some some of my um okay for some reason my inner key stopped working there um but basically what you want to do is you type in um um okay sorry I'm back there so I had to pause the video to sort out what was wrong with it um I had a setting of my cam studio so yeah you want to type in copy space forward slash b space and then you want to type in your picture name oh hold on a minute make sure you renamed your picture so that there's no spaces in the name so like you could put it like for me i'm going to put it dash okay yeah, now you want to type in your picture, so it's w twelve dash golf dot jpg plus and then whatever your um archive is called for to me it's tutorial dot seven z. Now you go to space and then you wanna type in what you want the new thing to be the new file to be called, so put it in tutorial one dot no just tutorial dot jpg and you hit enter there you go it's compressed it into a jpg file now you want to right click go to seven zip and you should have a um, file that says you should have one that says extract here but at the moment I don't have to configure my settings this is just a video I've just got some zip I've, I've before, as you know, I've been using WinRAR. But yeah, you have to configure the settings in this one quickly. Um, yeah, so you have extractor and then the two files that you put in there earlier, which for me is these two. They will um they will appear. They will um come out here as they are, as they've been extracted. So I'm just gonna delete all of this quickly because I don't need it in there. And. Uh, so yeah, that's how you um, make visible files. Uh, end of my story really this time. Sorry about that. I just um, had a other cool trick I remembered I could have showed you. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, you can email me at hacker seven eight six at live dot co dot uk. You can visit my website http colon forward slash forward slash my web dot tiskly dot co dot uk forward slash technoguru forward slash index dot html. This is my blog, uh, um, technoguru7860 dot blogspot dot com. You visit my ustream, ustream dot tv forward slash technoguru. Um, you, c yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching. I'll have more tutorials on soon. All right, bye.